Okay, next is going to be a like a reason uh, reasoning problems. Okay, so regarding the clock, okay, we all already studied the how the clocks works, isn't it? So first question, which clock shows five minutes five minutes past ten a.m. Okay, so before that, I want to tell you what is a a.m. and a p.m. So a.m. means it's a the time which after sun. After sun or probably the time will be after 4, 4.45, the sun will occur, isn't it? So, up to 4.45 to uh, uh, afternoon 12 o'clock, afternoon 12 o'clock, up to 12 o'clock, it will be in a.m. Or up to 11 o'clock, it will be in a.m. So, once uh, they touch the 12 o'clock, you, you, you say it's a p.m. That is an evening, afternoon to evening, you can say it's a p.m. Early morning to uh, mid-morning, up to 11 o'clock, you can say it's a am okay so it's a morning and it's a evening to night so from evening to night you can just say it's a 3 pm from evening to you can say it's a 3 okay so what is the question is asking which clock shows five minutes past 10 am so past means what is meant by past 10 am means it's a earlier that is the finished time the five minutes finished time so what is that 10 a.m means wow what how the needle will be the needle will be the small needle will be at a 10 small needle will be at the 10 and the big needle will be at the 12 this is a 10 a.m this is a 10 o'clock past past means the time which was finished pa no, generally what is meant by past the action which done already the action which performed or which is finished for example if you now it's a noon is now it's an noon if you are finished it's a breakfast time it's a past time okay if it's a breakfast time is a past time that is what past means the finished time is called as a past so what is the question asking 5 minutes past to 10 a.m. means this 10 a.m. means the small needle will be at a 10 and a big needle will be at the 12. 5 minutes faster. So 5 counts back. So this is what a correct option. D is a correct option. 10, 50, 5. So 10 a.m. means what we usually say 10, 60. 5 minutes rewind means we can say 10, 50, 5. So you have to understand the question clearly children. Okay one more time I am telling. See here. Which clock shows 5 minutes past 10 a.m. So 10 a.m. means what the small needle will be at a 10 and a big needle will be at a 12 is a 10 a.m. Past means the 5 minutes which, which was finished. So here see the 5 minutes is going to be happened. So now going to be happened. It's a past means finished time. So 10.55 is a finished time. Hope you all understand the first question. Now moving to the second question. So what is the second question? See here, the given clock shows the time dash minutes after 12 o'clock. So you have to be clear. There is a clock, but I didn't draw the clock. Just you just assume the given clock shows a time dash minutes after 12 o'clock. So after 12 o'clock means see here, the both needles will be at the same position. If I did 12 o'clock. So next is moving to the 1. But in between 12 to 1, how many minutes are there? 4 minutes are there, isn't it? 4 minutes are there. 61, what is the minute? 12 to 1, that will be a, again it's moving to the 5 counts. Again it's moving to the 1, 2, 3 and 4, 60. 60 up to 60, get finished. Now it's moving to 1, 2, 3 and 4 and 5. Now after 12, how much the minutes will be? 12, 1. So 1 is the right answer. Option B will be the right answer. Okay. So next question, your clock is 20 minutes slow. Okay, just listen to the question children. Your clock is 20 minutes slow. What is the actual time if it's showing a 7.30 a.m.? So now let's draw the clock. Okay. 6, 3 and 9. 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11. Okay. So what's the exact time it's showing? 7.30. So 7 in small needle. Isn't it? Big needle in a 6. So what is they saying? Now the time is 7.30. But what? Your clock is 20 minutes slower. So 20 minutes slower, slow. 
So, 20 minutes means what? 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, isn't it? So, 20 minutes means 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5 and 4, 5. 10, 20. So, now time is 7, 10. So, 7, 10 is the correct answer. Okay, children? Hope you all understand. So, one more time I am telling. Now, the exact, what the time is showing now? 7.30 is the time it is showing. What they are telling, the clock is 20 minutes slow. So, 20 minutes slow means you have to rewind the big needle to uh, 20, uh, before 20 minutes, isn't it? So, we are moving to 4, 5. 5, 10, next 15 and 20. And now, time is 7, 10. Okay, next, the second question. Tino started walking to the temple at 7.40 a.m. So, see here, this is like a story, just assume Tinu or you can assume yourself. Okay, you are walking, you have started walking to the temple 7.40 and reached to the temple at 8.15. So, you walked at 7.40, isn't it? Now, I am just drawing the clock. 12, 3, 9 and 6. 1, 2, 4, 5. 7, 8, 10, 11. Okay, now the Tinu started walking at 7.40. 7 and a 40. So, when she reached the temp temple 8.15, she reached at once the clock crossed at 12. And so, the clock crossed at 12 and crossed it to this here, 15. Okay, now it's moved to the, uh, now the normally, once the big needle crosses at 12, the small needle will move to the 8, 8.15. How long did she take to walk? So, from 7.40, he, uh, she started from his home, she started from his home and she uh, went to the temple at 8.15. So, how much time she crossed, so he, he started from a 40, so 45, 1, 5 minutes, 50, another 5 minutes. 55, 60, 5, 10, 15. So, how many 5? 10, 20, 30, 35 minutes. So, the Tinu takes 35 minutes to walk from home to temple. So, this is how to calculate how, that, uh, how much time she taken to reach from home to temple. So, this is how we have to calculate because from 9 to 10, there is how many minutes are there in between? 5 minutes. 10 to 11, again 5 minutes. So, each and everything have a 5 minutes. So, if you put all the 5, five minutes together and add it, you can reach the uh, total time of, uh, when she started and she when she reached. Okay. So, let's move on to the next uh, problems. Okay. Next question. What is the time if it is 20 minutes to 12 noon? Okay, noon means what? It's an afternoon. That is called a PM. It will become a PM. 12. From 12 to uh, next to 12. Next uh, second round. Okay, so we used to say that's a PM. Okay, what is the time if it is 20 minutes to 12 noon means? 20, well, they are telling 20 minutes. So, 12.20 p.m. is the right answer. You cannot say 12.20 a.m. Because it's a noon. Noon means you used to say it's a p.m. Okay, children. Okay, now Gautam. This is like a uh, story type. Just listen it carefully. Gautam plays in a park from 6 p.m. to 7.25 p.m. Just assume yourself itself, isn't it? You are going to the park at 6 o'clock. You are playing up to 7.25. From 6 to, you are just crossing the 7 and 25 minutes earlier. So, how long did he play? So, you just went to the park at 6. How much your time you completed? 6 to 7 you completed. That is 1 hour. How many minutes you have? 25 minutes. So, 1 hour and 25 minutes. It's the right answer. So, it's a small needle. Small needle when you cross from 6 to 7 means 1 hour completed. In case of a big needle means it takes some minute. If it cross, for example, the big needle at the 12th position. Now, it's going to the next one means it cross a 5 minutes. So, once the small needle crossing from one number to another, 
you have crossed the 1 hour you are crossed the 1 hour so how many minutes are more 25 minutes so 1 hour and 25 minutes okay so hope you all understand what is the time and how to see the time and how the difference is between seconds minutes and hours okay so um, in next class also we are going to see the time elaborately okay Pebbles CBSE Board Syllabus